Hello, hello, my dear health seeker, Inga from Health Origins here. So today, as I've got so much cabbage from our veg bag we're getting, I'm making cabbage stew. So let's begin. So here we have the ingredients. We've got one large carrot grated, or two um, medium ones. Then I've got um, two peppers, but these are green. I would suggest if you have, use red, because they're um, sweeter. But I've got these green ones to use up, so I'm using those. Then one large or two medium onion. Then you need two celery sticks, but my celery sticks, the ones that I have remaining, um, were like very small, so it's kind of probably just one celery stick. Um, so yeah, so you probably want a little bit more celery than this, but um, you know, beauty of cooking is that you can kind of, um, you don't have to be so exact with your ingredients. With baking, you really have to have exact, whereas with cooking, you can get away with less or more. Then I've got um, a cup and a quarter, probably, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. So um, a can of chopped tomatoes would work here as well. Then I've got half a big head of cabbage or one small cabbage. And then I've got a punnet of like 250 grams um, mushrooms. So you could probably get away with half of that as well. But again, I need to use those up because they're out of date. So, so that's why I'm putting them all in. But probably, you know, 100 grams of mushrooms should be enough too. And then, um, completely optional ingredient, um, broccoli. Because my broccoli, as you can see, is kind of getting a bit discolored. So I'm just um, using to use it up basically. But, you know, you don't have to put it. These are the ingredients. So this is just additional. Um, and then I've got some olive brine here for dry frying. So I've got my pan, my instant pot even, my instant pot on saute mode um, and it's showing hot. So what we can do, we can do a water droplet test now. Um, a quarter of a teaspoon of water, drop it in and it's actually not in doing the ball yet so we'll wait until it's rolling as a ball because you want to get the pan really hot until the water starts rolling around and that then you will know that it will not stick to the bottom so let's try the water droplet test again Yeah, it's, it's rolling a little bit more now. Maybe another minute. Basically, um, you want to be careful also to not, not to overheat it as well. Because um, if it's over hot, then it kind of evaporates straight away. So I think actually, I'll just, I'll get on with it. So, I'm adding onion first so adding my onion pepper and celery I'll let these cook that's better I'll let these cook for Two, three minutes first so this has been frying for about two minutes now I'm gonna add the um, carrots and the mushrooms as well so I mixed it up now and I'm gonna leave it uh, fry for another two three minutes 
it's no longer sticking to the bottom now because the mushrooms have released their juices. This is super hard to uh, film guys because the mushrooms release so much liquid and it's getting super steamy. So now um, they've fried quite a few minutes, maybe about five, six, seven minutes. I'm adding the tomatoes. So I'll add the tomatoes. And also, I forgot to mention, did I say ketchup? Yes, yeah, so we've got some ketchup, so I'll uh, squirt a little bit of that now as well. So I would say probably a, a one-fourth of a cup, quarter of a cup. And also, the only um, spice or herb I'm adding to this is... Um, teaspoon of parsley keeping it simple if you have some fresh parsley so then you can add fresh parsley too I've, I have dried and let that um, fry now for another five minutes or so for the tomatoes to soften. So now the um, tomatoes have softened. I'm gonna add cabbage. Broccoli. Like I said, broccoli is completely optional. I'm just adding because I need to use it up and then two cups of vegetable stock as well and try and mix it in a little I mixed it in as best as I could and if you're using um, salt you could add salt at this point as well but we prefer to add it to our dishes actually because then you need less salt because your tongue can feel more in, the salt more intensely if it's just sprinkled on the on the top of the food so that's it so what we need to do now we need to put this to to close the vent to close the vent here and to put it on for 10 minutes on pressure cook so I'll do 10 minutes and I'll not keep it warm, I'll, I'll let it do the natural release. Actually, Instant Pot is very clever because I didn't add enough liquid, it said. <laughs> it said burn for me, so um, I've just switched it off and I'm going to add another um, two cups of, of stock. So this will end up quite liquidy but we can thicken it with um, addition of starch later on if it need if need be but um you have to be conscious that instant pot needs at least two cups of liquid um, at any time if you're using the um, pressure cook mode so I think it was starting to burn a little bit at the bottom because there was just not enough liquid. Yes, I put two cups of stock, but for the amount, it probably needed more. So I'm gonna close that back on for another 10 minutes. So the pressure cooker has released now. And this is the finished product. So let's do some taste testing. And now for the taste testing. Mm. Yummy. It's like sour sweet. The sweetness from the carrots and then the sourness from the tomatoes. You can really taste it. And this is actually with no salt. Well, when I say no salt, it had stock in it, so obviously stock has its own um, salt, but I didn't add any additional. So yeah, 
it is delicious mm. and you can have this on steamed or roasted potatoes on rice quinoa buckwheat any kind of grain in fact and even on pasta it would work so let me know if you try this and what did you think of it in fact I think five minutes would be probably even better rather than ten minutes because in ten minutes it actually cooked the um, the cabbage um, quite a bit so I would say five minutes would probably keep the the cabbage a little bit more intact so so yeah let me know if you try this what you thought of it um, if you like the video give me a thumbs up and if you're new here welcome and subscribe for more uh, videos like this using the produce you have in your uh, fridge any seasonal produce and um, instant pot recipes too and remember food is fuel so be mindful what you put in your body until next time